Христос воскресе из мертвых, смертью смерть по праве сущему гробу живот дарова. Христос воскресе из мертвых, смертью смерть по праве сущему гробу живот дарова. Славящий Бог на земле не вышел от сих главы. Славящий Бог на земле не вышел от сих главы. Господи, снимай тверзеши и уста мои возвестят хвалу Твою. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christos воскресе из мертвых, смертью смерть поправ, и сущим воробих, Живо Let us pray to the Lord, Lord for peace from in high and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord for peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
Our most reverend Metropolitan William for God loving bishops, for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Fearable weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captain, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have Take to save us, immerse in us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating her most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, Master, and show us in those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever.
wisdom be attentive. God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. be attentive, peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in him. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in Him. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. Yeah. 
Please be to your reader. Wisdom be attentive. Now listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. be attentive. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apod Deum, et Deus erat verbum. V načali bi slovo, i slovo bi ko Bohu, i Boh bi slovo. In the beginning was the word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Hoc erat in principio apud Deum, omnia per ipsum facta sunt, et sine ipso factum est nihil quod factum est. Sebi iskoni ko Bohu, vsati me bisha, И без него ничтоже бысть, еже бысть. He was in the beginning with God, all things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In ipso vita erat, e vita erat lux hominum, Et lux in tenebris lucet, et tenebre emnon comprehenden derunt. Vot on život i bi, i život bi svit čelovikom, i svit vot mi svitica, i tma je ho ne objad. In him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shines in the darkness, in the darkness did not comprehend it. Fuid homo misus adeo, cui nomen erat Ioannes. Bis čelovik poslan od Boha, imja je mu Ioann. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He
Hic venit in testimonium, ut testimonium prehiberet de lumene, ut omnes crederent per illum. Se pre Deo svigitelstvo, da svigitelstvo et osvici, da vsi viru imut jemu. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. Non erat ille lux, sed ut testimonium perhiberet de lumine. Erat lux vera, que illuminat omnem hominem, Veniens in mundu. Nebito es vit, no da sviditelstu et osviti. Bi svit istini, iže prosvišaje cjako čelovika, gradušio v omir. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the law of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. In mundo erat et mundus per ipsum factum est et mundus eum non cognovit. In propria venit et sui eum non receperum. Vo mere bi i mer tim bez, i mer jeho ne pozna, vo svoja prejde i svoji jeho ne prijaša. He was in the world, and the world was made for him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Quod quod atem aceperunt eum dediteis potestatem filios dei fieri his qui credunt in nomine eius, qui non ex sanguinibus neque ex voluntate carnis neque et ex voluntate viri, sed ex Deo nati sum. Ilece je priaše jeho da dè im oblast čadom Božim bëti virujšim vo imja jeho, i že ne od krovi, ne od pohote plotskija, ne od pohote mužeskija, no od Boga rodiša sja. But as many as receive him to them, he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in him in his name who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloriam eius, gloriam quasi, Unigenitia Patre, plenum gratie et veritatis. I slovo plod bëst, i vselesja vone, i vidikom slavu jeho, slavu jako jedinorodno od Otca, i spon blagodate i istine. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Ioannes testimonium per hibet de ipso et clamat dissents. Hic erat quem dixi, qui post me venturus est, ante me factus est, qui a prior merat. Ioan svegitul stuet onem, i vo zvala holia, sej bi jeho žerih, i že po mni hredej, predo mnoju bist, jako pervije mene bi. 
John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Et de plenitudine eius nos omnes accepimus, et gratiam pro gratiam. Iotis polnenie homo vsi priachum, blahodai vos blahodai. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. We alex per mos and data est gratia et veritas priesum Christum facta est. Iaco zakon Moiseu dan best blahodaje i istina Iisus Christom best. For the law was given through Moses. But grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead. Don't take this thing. Christ is risen. Christos was Chris. We're glad to see all of you this morning here at our church. Thank you so much that all of you this Sunday, when we celebrate the greatest event in, event in the human history, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, you came to the church to celebrate here together his resurrection and as in our church as a custom I'm going to read to all of us this morning a pastoral message of our Archbishop Most Reverend William Scorla Christ is risen indeed he is risen as we celebrate Easter Sunday we deepen our belief and understanding of its meaning on our lives. The events of Jesus' death and resurrection show our path through this life leading to eternal life in heaven. Our perspective changes and depends, depends, depends with each celebration during our lifetime. Jesus explained to the apostles many times everything that was going to happen. They were going to Jerusalem, where he would be arrested, suffer, and be crucified. After three days, he would rise from death to new life. The resurrection of Jesus Christ would make it possible to follow him to the heaven. However, even though the apostles were told the plan of salvation, when the arrest, trial, and death of Jesus happened, most of the apostles were afraid and scattered. Judas gave up his faith and turned against Jesus. And only the apostle John remained with Jesus to the end. Just like the apostles, we know the story of the death and resurrection of Jesus. However, even though we know the story in our lives and the life of the church, our faith is challenged. Scandals in the church or problems in our personal lives or families hurt us and can cause us to question our faith. We are called to be like the faith-filled Apostle John. We are called to a faith 
in Jesus Christ that reveals the way to our resurrection. Through our faith in the, in the resurrection and our cooperation with the Holy Spirit, the current darkness will be blown away with the light of Christ our Lord and Savior. Our faith compels us to spread the news that we believe that Christ is truly risen. As we prepare for the 50th anniversary of the Metropolitan Church of Pittsburgh and the June Assembly, many people in our churches have begun the process of renewal in their lives and in their parish churches. We thank you all who are praying and working for the renewal of our archieparchy. We pray that this Easter season helps us to continue to increase our faith and our good works for the Lord. Our faith and our actions add to the light of resurrected Christ. Each prayer and action helps brighten the way of our families, our churches, and our communities. We extend to all the proclamation that Christ is risen. Dear parishioners, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, how I said, I'm very glad to see you this morning here at our church. Thank you so much that you came. And I want to say to you, you know, do not that to the evil one to take from our hearts, our families, the joy of the Easter. Do not permit to that evil one to steal from us our faith in our risen Jesus Christ. When father and mother of the family are destroyed in their faith, when that evil one destroys the faith of the parents, that family will be destroyed. When evil one destroys the priest that perish, probably half of the parish, will be destroyed as well. When that evil one destroys the bishop, probably that Yeparchy, half of the eparchy, will be destroyed. When the evil one destroys some cardinals, probably local church, no, will be destroyed. But there is other side of this everything. When father and mother are trying to live the holy life with God, that family will be holy as well. When priest has a strong relationship with God and tries, you know, to live good Christian life and give an example to the parishioners, that parish will become holy. When bishop has a strong relationship with God and tries to be holy and take care, you know, about the parish, the eparchy, that eparchy will be holy. And cardinals, they try to be holy people. Local church will be holy. Their brothers and sisters in Christ. It is very easy to criticize, to judge. Very easy. But I really ask all of us to pray for the holy families. Because from the holy families come holy priests, holy vocations to the priesthood. To pray for good and holy vocations to the priesthood, to the monastic life. We have to pray. I ask all of us to pray for our priests. That we all be protected and supported by you. 
Also, I ask you to pray for our bishops and cardinals. They have, you know, especially in these days, very hard cross. And they need our prayers. And I wish that our faith will be built on the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And may the joy never, never, ever will be stolen from us by that evil one. Pray, pray, especially for the families. Because how I said yesterday, you know, it's very nice to have, you know, this all decorations in the church, all these flowers. But the greatest, decor greatest beauty of the church are the strong Catholic families. And you are the church, universal, Catholic. And may our faith will be strong as a rock. And nobody will separate us from the joy of Easter and from the law of God. Christ is risen! Christos was Christ! Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, and for Most Reverend, Metropolitan, William, for God, loving bishops, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of her country. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray, O Lord our God, hear our supplication through your grace and mercy in your servants, all parishioners of this parish. Grant all their petitions and pardon all their voluntary and voluntary sins. Accept their supplications in charitable deeds before the throne of your majesty. Sigur them from every visible and invisible enemy, from every misfortune, distress, and affliction. Spare them from illness and grant them health and long life. Let us all say, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Oh. Again, we pray to you, O Lord, our God, for our families, so that they become a home church where new physical and spiritual life is obtained and preserved, so that our parents become the first witnesses of the faith for their children. Let us all say, O Lord God, hear us and graciously have mercy. Heavenly Father, you have asked us to pray for vocations that, are, that there might be young men and women willing to give of themselves for the sake of the gospel. Hear the prayers of your church and through the merits of your passion and death. Send an abundance of good and holy priests, religious and other consecrated persons to serve faithfully the people of God. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Oh. Again, we pray for the people who are present who wait you great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For 
you are merciful in loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. God, remembering his kingdom, our Holy Father, Francis, Papa from our most reverend Metropolitan William, all entire priestly, the monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, every memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God, remembering his kingdom, all the Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. the precious gifts please before us let us pray to the Lord Lord, have mercy. The Lord God Almighty hold on our holy and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart accept also the prayer of us sinners bring us to your holy altar enable us to offer your gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for, for the people's failings make us worthy to fight favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you and that the good spirit of your grace may rest in us and this gives her present and in all your people. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and light creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us 
love one another that with one might we may profess. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only Let us stand aright, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and ephra in peace. Mercy, peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Proper and just to sing to the blessed, to praise it, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, category, the same, your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven, gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. For all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many eyes are wrinkled out on, on their wings. Singing, shouting, Crying aloud and sing the triumphal hymn. Oh, 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 oh
is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Holy 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 is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the So cry out with these blessed powers, so loving and kind master, and say, Holy are you and all holy and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish by her life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the chosen after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering therefore this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own throne. Your own always and everywhere. We of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
I want the first Lord to remember our Holy Father, Francis, Papa from our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God loving bishops. Preserve them for our holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice in my heart we may glorify and praise their most honored and magnificent name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. The precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them in his holy hand and mystical altars in Rama's spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and for a communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and treat you, make us worthy to partake with the clear conscience of your holy and awesome mysteries from the sac sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, no judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will. the kingdom and the power and the glory Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever is be to all bow your heads to the Lord Invisible King, for by immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy, you brought all things out of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies at according to the need of each. Sell with those who sell, travel with those who travel, care those who are sick of physicians, souls, and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and light, creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Now let us be attentive.
O Lord. With fear of God and with faith, Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted Thank you. 
Say your people, God, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By the trampled death and to those in Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ.
that we have received the divine holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, like creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, Master, benefactor of our souls, the love us all that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and every virgin Mary of all your saints. May straight our path confirm us all in fear of you, guard life and say guard our steps. For your our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving can every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, give worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. This moment we're going to bless all these nice little baskets. Okay? Let us pray to the Lord. O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, Eternal God, bless and sanctify this bread with your heavenly blessing, so that it may be for the health of body and salvation of soul to all who partake of it, and that it may be a safeguard against all illness and enemy assaults through our Lord Jesus Christ, our only be your only begotten Son, the living bread which came down from heaven, giving life and salvation to the world who lives and reigns with you in union with the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, look upon this lamp and all these other flesh meats. Bless and sanctify them as you blessed and sanctified the ram which Abraham offered to you and the lamp which Abel offered to you in sacrifice. Bless and sanctify these meats as you bless and sanctify the fattened calf which you ordered to be slain for your prodigal son when he returned again to you. So that just as he was considered worthy to enjoy your goodness, so also may we who eat of these meats, blessed and sanctified by you, enjoy your goodness and obtain your holy cross and resurrection from the dead on the third day. For you are our true food and the giver of all good things, which you yourself bless and sanctify. And we give glory to you together with your eternal Father and your all holy, gracious, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, our Lord and Master, Creator of all things, bless this cheese and butter, this eggs and all the other foods here present, and preserve us in your goodness, so that as we eat of your gifts, which you so readily bestow upon us, 
we may be filled with your indescribable goodness for the sake of the glorious resurrection on the third day from the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. These paschal foods and all these candies are blessed and sanctified by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christos voskrese Christ is risen! 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 Glory to you, Christ, God our hope, glory to you. Christ is risen from the, the dead, bindeth he trembled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. May Christ our true God risen from the dead by death, trampling death and granting life to those in the tombs who mercy in us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of, of Constantinople, through the prayers of our blessed martyrs, Bishop Theodore, Bishop Paul and Bishop Basil, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Just wish you to have a nice and blessed and joyful and glorious Easter. Christ is risen. Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. Christos was Christ. Smert is mer Christ is risen. 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 
Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. 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 Christ is risen from the Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen. Thank you Christ is risen. Thank you so much. Christ is risen. Thank you so much. Christ is risen. 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 Glad to see you. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Finally, see you. Christ is risen. 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 Where is Theodore? Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Thank you so much. Wait a second.